Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we study the T flip flop. T flip flop. Okay, before moving to the T flip flop, let me tell you uh, it's something that I forgot in the last video. You would have mentioned that I didn't talk about the truth table, the characteristic table, and the excitation table of the master slave JK flip flop. So that is the same as the normal JK flip flop. The change that we had was between the toggling and the race around condition. And for that, both of them, QN plus 1 is equal to QN complement. The major difference cannot be shown in the truth table, they are both the same. Now let me write it when clock J and K, all of them are 1. So what happens? QN plus 1 will be equal to QN complement and this time they will be toggling. In, this, in the simple JK, we had them raising, okay? And similarly, the, the characteristic table is the same and the uh, excitation table is the same. Okay, so that was something I needed to mention before moving into today's topic. That is the T flip flop. Now, what is this T flip flop? So, for T, to understand T, you first have to know about the JK. So, let me draw, uh, let me draw the block diagram for the JK flip flop. Now, you have this J, this is K, this is Q, this is Q complement, and a clock source is provided. Is that fine? Now, the major concern of this JK flip-flop was what? It was when both J and K are high. Which means you're giving them two individual inputs having the same state, having the same value 1. Now, what if I provide them the same input? Okay, I provide them the same input to both of them, okay? So... Let's say this input is over here, and instead of providing a separate input, I take the same input and I provide it over here. And this similar input that is provided to this JK flip flop is called the T input. And now you can say that this JK flip flop has been converted into a T flip flop. And this is what happened. Now, inside this green colored box, now this is a T flip flop basically and the inside circuitry is this one. How is that? So let me show you. This is uh, your T, this, uh, the clock source, the inter external clock source, Q and Q complement. So this is how it is obtained, all right? Now we draw the, uh, we draw the what? We draw the truth table. And, and in the JK flip-flop, we had what? The toggling action. And this T flip-flop is also mostly used for the toggling action. In which this T, this T stands for the toggle, basically. So this flip-flop is all about toggling. Now we draw the truth table for this uh, JK, for, sorry, for this flip-flop, T flip-flop. So the inputs are what? It's the clock and it's the T input. And the next state, QN plus 1, is the output all right so now let's say when the clock is zero whatever be the value of this uh, t it retains the, the previous state that is the memory and i say this is equal to qn now when you have the clock high so we have two combinations now one zero and one one when the clock is high and the t is low so this t is low means that j is low and k is low so for this case again you have the memory state which means the previous state is retained and you have qn again now when this uh, clock is high and the, and the, and the t bit is one which means that j is equal to one and k is equal to one so for that case now you have the toggling and now this will be equal to qn complement all right Okay, that's about the truth table. Now we find the characteristic table. CHSN are for characteristic, okay? And the characteristic table, we have the present state and we have the present input T and we find the next state with the help of them. So two inputs, so four combinations. Okay, and now depending on the what? The truth table, when QN is zero and T is zero. So when T is zero, what happens? 
that the original state is retained, which means t0, so qn is 0 in this case, so the next state will be 0. Now, when uh, q is, uh, when t is 1, so what happens? You toggle them. t is 1, so the previous state was 0, now it will become 1. All right. Now again, t is 0, so you have, uh, t is 0, so you have the, the previous state retained, 1 in this case, so 1 is retained. And finally, when it is 1, so it is toggled, and which means that this is a qn over here is 1, so we have a 0 at the end. So that's the characteristic table. Now you can find the value of qn plus 1 from here, so, so we make a 4 variables k map. Okay, this is the four variables k map 0, 1, 0, and 1. And what are the bits? It's qn and it is t. All right, and you have a 0, 1, 1, 0. So, so, so they are treated individually, all right. So, you have qn plus 1 equal to, to what? Uh, this is the first, let's say, so this is qn complement, t complement. Qn complement T complement or with no this is Qn sorry Qn T complement and or with Qn complement T which means this is the X or operation Qn plus one is equal to Qn X or with T all right now now with the help of this characteristic table we draw the excitation table. So in the excitation table, you have the inputs, the previous state, the present state, which means Qn is if the previous state, or Qn plus 1 is the present state. And we find the present input, all right, T. Now, I always use these terms Qn and Qn, and I use the term sometimes Qn is, I say, is the previous state, and sometimes I say is the present state. So when Qn is the previous state, Qn plus 1 is the present state. When qn is the present state, q is plus 1 is the next state. There is nothing to confuse in it, all right? So now you have these combinations, 0, uh, 0, no, wait. I will be drawing this with the help of colors, all right? So 0, 0 is the first combination, okay? And let's say I draw it with the red color. When qn is 0, qn plus 1 is 0, the value of t is what? The value of t is 0, all right? Now, 0, 1, so when qn is 0 and qn plus 1 is 1, the value of t is 1. When, when uh, qn is 1 and qn plus 1 is 0, so the value of t is again 0. And finally, finally when you have, the, uh, when you have, uh, no, 1, 0 is the last case, sorry, this is a mistake. Now, 0, 1 was fine. Now, you have, if you have Qn is 1, Qn plus 1 is 0. So, this is again equal to 1. All right. And finally, when you have uh, Qn equal to 1 and Qn plus 1 equal to 1, so the output T, the T is 0. All right. So, let me cross check 0, 0, we have 0, 0, 1, we have 1, 1, 1, we have 0, and 1, 0, we have 1. All right. And now, again, you can find the value of T from here using a four cells map. So this would be Qn, this would be Qn plus one. This is zero, this is one, this is zero, this is one. Fine, and you fill it, zero, one, one, zero. And I've told you when it's in the cross diagonal, this is always going to be what? The exclusive OR operation, exclusive OR operation, which means that T in this case is Qn exclusive OR with qn plus 1. That's it. That's all about today. That's all about this lecture. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.